Real excited. We're here to see one of our vendors today. They're gonna give us a special tour and there's an added surprise for us today. Welcome everybody, I'm Joe from Tent World Corporate. I'm the merchandising manager at Tent World. And today we got invited by one of our vendors, uh, DS18, to take a tour of their facility. And today we have an added bonus, which is gonna be a surprise for us. So stay tuned, let's go inside, let's go meet the crew, take a tour, and see what the big surprise is. So we're gonna start our tour. Um, I'm here with the CEO of, of DS18, Sasha, as well as one of the uh, sales representatives, Wing. Uh, they handle our account and they've been nothing but supportive of our uh, company and helped us out with everything that we've done from launch to the big surprise that we have later on today. But first what we're gonna do is uh, they're both going to take us to a little tour of their uh, warehouse facility, show us the inner workings of what happens here, and get you guys all excited about their brand and their product, and we'll go from there. What I'm first impressed by is, while a lot of people are having supply issues, I mean, this is fully packed. What's the size of your warehouse? 75,000 square feet. 75,000 square, square feet, wow. And as you can see, all the pallets are loaded up to the top. How do you do it? I mean, you know, how do you stay above the curve, you know, ahead of the curve of, you know, being on top of it, make sure you, you have a good supply? It comes to the team that we have. We have a team in the United States, we have teams overseas that work day and night to help with the supply issues in logistics, in manufacturing, in R&D, whatever it takes. We, these past two years, we have done the impossible. And we haven't, at some point, people were holding back because of the freight charges and the, whatever it was, the cost of the containers, we never stopped. It's one or two containers a day we were receiving here at the times that nobody was getting containers. And you can see it now with the amount of merchandise that we have. You showed us like you have the forklift setups and stuff like that, kind of like Amazon does, right? Yeah. The automated stuff. So, well, that was a big investment we made. Uh, we bought the big uh, uh, forklift from uh, that the same that Amazon uses. That out, they're autonomous. You can see in the lines, everything they, they work in the lines. But what happened is, well, we packed ourselves so much with merchandise that they they can't they, 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 they can go through yeah. the lines. So. <laughs> and of course, the merchandise comes first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, so. again, look at all this stock. I mean, it, this is unbelievable right here. Let's go and see like um, where you guys start doing a lot of your prototyping yeah. and stuff like that. Just making sure uh, everything's <laughs> good for us to go in. Here is all the mechanical uh, R&D for the amplifiers, any, everything that's electronic, mm -hmm. we do here. So now this is where you do like uh, power rating and all that other stuff no, in this room? that's done here. Okay, so what do we do here? All the electronic parts on the components, um, testing of individual components for the double Ds or amplifiers or okay. equalizers and development of electronic parts, Perfect. not speakers. Okay, gotcha. And this is where most of the magic happens. Yeah, and then here is what everything gets tested and finishes and all the speakers. We have the anechoic room. You can come in. How you doing? I'm Joe. Hi. How are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Diego. This Diego? Is Diego? Diego. Okay. He can explain to you what he does. Diego, give, give us a little... Uh, yes. I know that's the sound room, which I do want to show that, but yes. tell us what happens here. Uh, basically, this is my, uh, tent, my test bench. Um, here I get all the power, the ratings of the new amplifiers or even uh, the actual amplifiers so we can step on it. Uh, also I have uh, all my equipment of the Anechoic, uh, yes, um, using my computer and using these machines I can tell uh, what is going on with the speakers and all the stuff that we test. This is a 300 by 4 amplifier. Look at that. 
size of his palm of his hand, where typically it would be quadruple the size of that. I mean, a typical 300 by 4 would have been that big in the old days. Yeah, remember the AV class that we have, the Genesis, yeah. is only 230 watts, and it's like this size. So, yeah, so it's very, yeah, it's very different right now. We, uh, the technology is, is, is very advanced. Now, I know what it is, but can you tell our viewers what this chamber is? This room, basically, uh, which is good, is, is no uh, reflection of the sound. So, and also we have like a buffer. This is a wall when we mount the speaker. And then with, with this uh, uh, type of microphones, we have different type of microphones. One is for, uh, for measuring SPL, and the other one is for measuring the, the curve or the frequency response. And, and this chamber allows us to get the most accurate sound or more natural sound of uh, came out of, uh, of the speaker, so it's a better, um, you know, uh, reading of the parameters. So you, you put this, you put the speaker back back there, and then you record the sound with this this microphone. Yes, we, we we measure the sounds with my machines. We have uh, computers and also uh, another machine to to. You know, make sure the speakers, um, everything, like frequency response, yeah. everything. I can hear it on my mic as soon as I come in here, how quiet it gets. Exactly, yeah. yeah I would that's, love to record that some yeah. in this room, man. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be great. It's almost dead. You've made an impact in the audio industry and, and made a name for yourselves, right? But this was typically something that you would only see at a real high-end audio line, like a Focal or something like that. So the fact that you're using that same exact technology it, it is a staple of showing the quality of your product, how above and beyond you guys go to make a good product for your end consumer. Yeah. Everybody think that making a new product is easy to come out with a speaker because speaker, but maybe it takes six, eight, even a year to develop one SKU. Right. So yeah, and, it's and, a lot and, of work. And the other thing is, is that, you know, you have a lot of manufacturers out there that you know they, they they go overseas and they just pick something off the shelf and they put their name on it right and that's typical that's business that's the way that our industry runs but you guys don't do that you guys engineer everything here first and then you send it to your plant yeah. overseas to get produced yeah we even develop all the head things and all the toolings and we pay for that we have millions of dollars invested only in toolings yeah so real exciting <laughs> all right let's go cool. <laughs> thank you all right, so we're noticing as well, they own some box trucks. They actually have their own delivery service to the freight forwarders for their export customers. Diego, who showed us the sound lab and where all the testing equipment is, he's going to take us through and uh, show us what's done on this vehicle. This is our, you know, this is the world famous, the Redmos. This, this vehicle has been using for the, uh, for the company to show all the products. Uh, this vehicle has been in SEMA, CES, and with multiple car shows uh, locally and around the country. So uh, this vehicle has like uh, the dream setup for sound quality guys, you know. This have the the, the looks component, the three ways uh, component in the front. Uh, they have the DSP, uh, the the, la the latest one, the DSP 8i. Also have a, a bunch of uh, amplifiers and subwoofers because I like the bass. Who doesn't? So yeah, this have only uh, for subwoofers 6,000 watts RMS. So this is pretty much the, the setup in this car. Before we go back inside and you know reveal the big surprise that I keep on telling everybody, um, Wink said we had to take a look at their new trailer. So Wink, For tell sure. us what's going on here. Okay, so this is a, our new big, big trailer. We have a showroom inside, so you have to go anywhere. And also we can transport some cars in there. Let's go take a look. This is the old one. We have a showroom all with the jeep parts inside. You can see all the sandbar here in the wall. You can see over there also jeep parts, so over enclosures, new amplifiers made in Korea. We have over here towers, all color towers for jeeps, side by side, boats, Canam, everything. And also we have our demo Canam over here. All right, so I mean, this is a rolling showroom, which is awesome. 
What is that? That's a toy. Here's the most exciting part for us over here at Tint World. Um, it's been a while in the making, right? Our partnership with DS18, um, they stepped it up a notch and they made something special for our stores. Um, and I'm gonna have Sasha just take us over to it, show us what it is and talk a little bit about it. So let's go. Here's the display that we made for the Jeep solutions, everything for Jeep, 14th word is uh, here you can display basically most of a setup for a Jeep. You have the Jeep base, which, which is go to the tailgate for the subwoofers. You have the JP6, which is for the dash, the amplifiers, and the door panels, a soundbar, and the pots. I can get our customers excited about it too, right? So they got, we got a live working demo and product that they could actually hear before yes. they actually get it installed in their vehicle. Um, and what's nice about it is it's finally in stock. We have it, and our stores will be receiving these shortly. Um, and, you know, visit your local Tint World uh, for a demo.